Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to obtain transfer function for a given mechanical rotational system. In this video, we are going to follow step by step procedure to obtain the transfer function. We are going to draw what is the free body diagram as well as we will also write the mathematical model for the rotational system. So let us first understand what is the given rotational system. So if we observe here, this is the damper with viscous damping coefficient B. Then here is the mass with mass moment of inertia Z, spring with stiffness K. Now in rotational motion, we will say that the applied force is nothing but the torque T. And in this applied torque T, there is the angular displacement theta. So both are in the same direction. So here is the T and in the same direction there is the theta. Now we will first draw the free body diagram for this given system. So we know that due to applied torque T, there is the reaction forces. And reaction forces are due to this mass that is with having mass moment of inertia z then due to damper with viscous damper damping coefficient b and for the spring with stiffness k so due to these three elements there is the reaction forces so first we have to draw here one block showing this mass with mass moment of inertia z and we have to show the applied torque t and we have to show the angular displacement theta as per the given direction. Now we will show here the reaction forces. So reaction forces are due to this spring stiffness K, mass moment of inertia J and this uh, viscous damper coefficient that is B. So how to show? So it, it, it will be in terms of torque. So I will show this but in the opposite direction. So in the opposite direction that is reaction force due to mass moment of inertia that is Tz. Then here is Tb and here is Tk. That is this is the torque that is reaction torque due to spring stiffness K. Then reaction torque due to viscous damper coefficient B and reaction torque due to mass moment of inertia Z. So this is the free body diagram. Now we have to take what is the mathematical model for this system. So how to write this mathematical model? If we observe here, here is the, because of this applied torque T, there is the angular displacement theta is there. So we have to write this torque due to this mass, due to this damper and due to this spring in terms of the displacement. So how to write? So if we observe this table, here are the formulas for the mechanical translational system. Now we have to convert this formula in mechanical rotational system. So I will convert it. So here F of T for this mass. So torque due to mass how we can rewrite this. So in rotational system we have to use here instead of m mass moment of inertia z. And we know that acceleration that is angular acceleration alpha. So we can say that the applied torque T for the mass I will rewrite here T is equal to z into alpha. Now we will convert this in terms of velocity and in terms of displacement. So how to convert this? So J it will remain same and alpha. So angular acceleration alpha is nothing but d omega by dt. Now what is this omega? Omega is the angular velocity. Now again this omega we have to write in terms of displacement theta. So again I will write here J into. So d by dt of omega. Omega is nothing but d theta by dt. So how we can write here d squared theta by dt squared. Now we will move for the spring. So for spring again how we can write here torque due to spring. That is it is nothing but k into theta. So theta is instead of displacement x. So how we can write in terms of velocity. So in terms of velocity I will write here k integration of omega dt. 
Then we will move for the damper. So here this is the basic formula F of t is equal to B into V. So F of t is nothing but torque which is equal to B and V is nothing but angular velocity omega. Now how we can convert this into displacement? So we will convert this B into d theta by dt. Now we will put here, now we will first write the equation according to Newton's second law. That is the action force is equal to sum of reaction forces. So what is the action force? So action force is nothing but torque T. And reaction forces, these three are the reaction forces. That is torque due to mass, moment of inertia, plus torque due to damper, plus torque due to spring. So this is the equation. Now we have to rewrite this equation in terms of displacement. So how I will write it. So T is equal to, now uh, because of this mass, here is the formula. That is Z d squared theta by dt squared plus due to damper here plus b into d theta by dt plus k into theta. So this is the mathematical model for this given system. Now we will rewrite this formula that is t is equal to z theta double dash plus b into theta dash plus k into theta. So this is the formula. Now if we observe this formula, here t is nothing but input. So I will write here input is t. And what is the output? So output is angular displacement that is theta. So this input and output both are variable and both varies with t. Now how to obtain the transfer function? So for that we have one formula that is transfer function is nothing but the ratio of Laplace transform of output to the Laplace transform of input with zero initial condition. So you have to note down this formula. Now if we observe here this equation is in terms of input t and in terms of output theta. So here theta double dash is there, theta dash is there and theta is there. So in this equation this uh, torque and this theta both are variable and how to obtain the Laplace transformation. So for this variable with respect to time t we have to convert it into s that is when this torque in terms of t. That means we will write this torque in terms of s. So I, I will write here by Laplace transformation. I have to write this t in t is variable with respect to time. So I will write here instead of time I have to take t of s which is equal to. Now here j theta double dash. So for this theta double dash I have to use these two equations. That is theta double dash of t by Laplace transformation we will write s square theta of s. And theta dash of t by Laplace transformation we have to take s theta of s. So again I will rewrite this. That is j into instead of theta double dash I will write s square theta of s plus b into s theta of s plus k into theta that is k into theta of s. So this is the Laplace transformation for this equation. Now we have to take the transfer function. So for this transfer function we have to take ratio of output by input. So output is theta. So uh, in case of Laplace transformation we will say theta of s and here input is t. So in case of Laplace transformation we will say t of s. So I will take here theta of s as a common. So theta of s in the bracket j s square plus b into s plus k which is equal to t of s. So uh, I will take output by input that is theta of s divided by t of s which is equal to 1 divided by j s square plus b s plus k. And this is nothing but the transfer function.